Now to news on the border. Authorities say U.S. Border Patrol agents found a three year old boy alone in a field and that he was likely left by smugglers at the southern border. The boy's name and phone numbers were actually written on his shoes when agents found him yesterday morning. Nearly 9,000 unaccompanied minors have been caught just in March as border crossings continue to rise. The agency says it could not provide a breakdown by age, though. But most minors are usually teenagers from Central America who travel north on their own, but some are young children who arrive with an adult relative or even a human smuggler. United Airlines is responding after one of its employees allegedly called a passenger a monkey at a Houston airport. Actress Cassili Hughes says she had returned home to Houston when she asked employee Carmela Devano a question at Bush Airport. Hughes says Devano started yelling at her and called her a shining monkey several times. That's when she called police for help. To come off of that flight and for someone to demean me, to degrade me, to use racial slurs against me, and I mean, she made me powerless. She stripped me of all my power in that moment. It was United released a statement that reads, quote, this incident is deeply offensive and does not reflect the fundamental values of our company and our 90,000 employees. That is why we took immediate action to remove this individual from the job, unquote. Hundreds of firefighters in Houston are now without a job after a vote by the city council today. Council members voted for the mayor's proposal to lay off more than 200 firefighters to help pay for Proposition B. That proposition was approved by voters and was supposed to increase firefighters pay to that which is equal to a police officer's salary. Now, despite last minute negotiations with a mediator, Mayor Turner and the firefighters union couldn't agree on how to pay for firefighter raises without cutting their jobs. The city's already given notices to nearly 50 municipal workers and 67 fire cadets already trained but not yet sworn in. Well, the former men's tennis coach at the University of Texas at Austin is set to plead guilty in the college admissions bribery scandal. Michael Center was in Boston federal court today on conspiracy to commit mail fraud and honest services mail fraud. He's charged with accepting $100,000 to help an applicant get into the school for tennis even though that student didn't even play the sport. Authorities say $60,000 of that was exchanged in cash during a meeting in a hotel parking lot. Center was among dozens of coaches, prominent parents, and others arrested last month in that nationwide admission scam. Former coaches at Yale and Stanford have already pled guilty, and so have a dozen parents. Now to a wild story out of Northern California, a car slamming into a crowd of pedestrians in Sunnyvale, California, hurting a handful of people. ABC's Romina Puga has the very latest on why police believe the crash may have been intentional. We have uh, three criticals, we need three ambulances. A speeding car that witnesses say had no intention to stop, running down eight people in Sunnyvale, California last night. This tree, the only thing that stopped the car after it plowed through pedestrians. Bikes flipped over, backpacks scattered in the street. I need a uh, unit out here for crowd control. Police immediately arresting the driver, and authorities believe the man behind the wheel acted deliberately. The driver who struck the vehicle looks like it might have been an intentional act. The scene itself doesn't show any kind of evidence of breaking. The FBI assisting Sunnyvale police to determine a motive for the crash, helping interview the driver. Those eight victims were taken to hospitals, the youngest a 13-year-old girl. It's very unusual. City of Sunnyvale uh, is a very safe city, um, so to hear about a tragedy like this, it's just unheard of. The FBI has not opened an investigation at this time, and it remains Sunnyvale Police Department's case. They will become more involved if it's determined a federal crime was committed. Romina Puga, ABC News, Los Angeles. And back here at home, reconstruction of Old Robstown Road from Highway 44 to Leopard Street is nearing completion. The Bond 2014 project started in March of last year and is expected to finish up in the coming weeks. The road is being upgraded to a three lane road with a center turn lane, concrete bus pads, curb and gutter and sidewalks. It also includes an off street two way city track on one side. Utility improvements to gas, water, storm and wastewater are also included. And the traffic signal at Old Robstown and Upriver Road will be replaced along with street light upgrades along that roadway.